pretty shitty though. Why does stuff want to work this morning? Lit Literally. I forgot this stuff does take hours. And I took it like 9 o'clock, 8, almost 9. Why did I do that? Because it's really starting to work this morning. It is 326. I wanted to get there by 4. I'm hoping I can just use the bathroom a couple times so I can get out of here but oh, gosh 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 this sucks this really sucks i just hate being in the gym with other people but i gotta push i gotta push if i have to go to the bathroom near i just have to go to the bathroom near but i don't want to mm -mm -mm. i'm gonna take this like as soon as i come home or whatever in the daytime thank you Love this little jacket. Wherever I got this from, this is so worth it because I don't watch it a million times and it's still, it's black. Yes. I hope I don't get to this gym and my body embarrass me and I have to keep going to the bathroom. We shall see. I can't wait till I can fit this bad boy too. Y'all see that? <laughs> oh no. Look. Big girl in a little coat. tell y'all i felt so 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 different today on <laughs> this machine i literally sweat you'll see later that i actually pulled out the towel because your girl was sweating i was thinking like for the part of the video where i'm doing my workout i'll probably insert some music so to make it you know a little bit different so i'll probably start doing that as well so yeah this right here had your girl sweating and I'm proud of myself because I keep raising the intensity and the incline, which I'll talk to you about that as well. So enjoy y'all. no eight for the incline and I was doing intervals where every couple of minutes I'll go faster for like 30 seconds to a minute and that's what I was doing so it was like I'm going fast well, I don't know if you could tell when I speed it up but yeah all right y'all let me get on this massage table no no snow today guys and let's show you my burn and how long hold on so that's the burn an hour and not a while an hour and nine minutes and 473 calories all right y'all see y'all later oh, i'm sitting here watching the vlog from it will be yesterday when you guys see this video that i'm this one right here and i was wondering why the video was 31 minutes long that's because I recorded the whole time of me on a treadmill, which I, I record everything all the time. But I thought I sped it up. I'm like, why is this still so long? I forgot to speed up my treadmill part of it. So sorry for that, guys. I normally like to speed it up. But you see, I did do 10 minutes on the treadmill before I went to the next 30-minute um, uh, workout thing. But yeah, I'm like, why is it? Yesterday when I was editing it last night before I put it up, I'm like, why is it so long? Uh, so... I forgot to speed up the treadmill, but it's all good. I guess it may have been for a purpose. Maybe God did it for a reason for somebody to have to see that part of it. But that was 10 minutes of me warming up on the treadmill. That's why it was so long without me speeding it up. So, sorry for that. So, that magnesium citrate had your girl feeling a hot mess this morning. I thought I was going to make it to the gym, but I was determined. I said, mm-mm. 
you're not about to stop me magnesium citrate. We're about to get whatever needs to flow out so I can get to the gym, okay? So, yeah, I made it, and I feel good, and I'm about to go to bed. It's so dark outside. Yeah, I'm about to go to bed. This is, I don't know what it is, it don't even say, but this is the brand, mm, I like it, it's like a peachy coral, coral color, real, <laughs> I was just on the phone, talking to one of my revivers, and the struggle was real, I end up going to eat some pepperonis yes i'm on a one meal a day but i got 10 little pepperonis and i was about to eat something like hannah benzina some cereal as soon as i got the phone with her i was like let me boil these eggs for dinner and see these pepperonis and i'm like mm, okay but I literally was looking at that strawberry rice crispy cereal because we didn't finish it. <clears throat> I said, nope. Nope. I'd rather eat these pepperonis. It's meat, not carbs. So I went for it. Because we were talking about stuff not in a bad way, but because I haven't eaten anything in a couple hours ago, I ate a cutie. And I got my other cutie. That's for maybe just before dinner or while I'm cooking. Mm-mm struggle I'm gonna enjoy these little bit of pepperonis and drink my water and sit my tail down because I'm craving just anything because I'm, I'm I'm just really craving something <clears throat> I'm trying to push this through this week to see if I how I like the old map and maybe look at some stories that may be motivating or inspiring but I'm strongly thinking about going back to what I used to do. Just be moderate in my three meals plus snacks. I don't know. We shall see. I'm trying. I'm trying. I can say I tried it. Because people always say, you should try it, you should try that. But this was something I was interested in anyway. So I'm trying it. We shall see. But I did throw some pepperonis in there. All right, y'all. Right. This uh, old mad, yeah. I'm going to push through um, and do my best to see it through till Sunday, but uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I, I think that mentally it's a lot just to not eat anything, even though I'm eating the cuties and stuff in between, I still feel like mentally it's a lot, I really feel like, I don't even know if I want to do intermittent fasting, I don't know. I'm thinking, but as this week goes through, I'll figure it out before next week, um, because I'm really thinking, I don't know, I'm thinking that I just might go back with moderation, because I, 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 I do like breakfast, I do like breakfast, um, and just being able to eat small things throughout the day, um, I think that's just what works for me, and that's how I lost my weight the first time and lost a tremendous amount of weight just working out because of the simple fact that I'm working out. That's why I think it's a struggle for me because I burn a decent amount of calories and then I come home and then don't eat. So it's like, ugh, my body is like, ugh. And these cuties and stuff, it's just not the same. And the people that I'm watching that do OMAD and do intermittent fasting, they're just working and living their lives. I'm an entrepreneur, so I kind of got my own schedule. And it's like the time that I'm working out when I come home, okay, I go to sleep. But then when I wake up, I still got like all these hours to wait to put something in my belly after I just did this workout. So I don't know if that's a good thing. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing. I think that because I'm working out, it's okay for me to just be moderate with my meals and do the three meals and the snacks in between just to keep my metabolism going throughout the day. That's what I'm thinking, but I'm going to try to push through. I'm going to try to push through, but I'm being real with y'all this week, but it has been a struggle. Y'all see me eat the pepperoni. I'm still, I'm hungry. I want something to eat. And I just keep sipping this water, sipping this water, sipping this water, but yeah. 
the, the thing that I'm I'm saying to myself, I'm like, CPR, you said you want to do something that you can continue doing for the rest of your journey. So is the OMAD going to fit in or is the OMAD just for right now to help boost that weight loss so that way I can get over the hump to feel like, okay, I can push and be moderate and still live and enjoy the things I like as far as food. Because now I feel like, okay, don't waste all of the hard work. You know what I mean? So I'm just... That's where I'm at right now. That's where I'm at. Uh, we shall see. And I'm trying to do it like this. That way I don't have to have a long confession because I forget sometimes. And that way I don't really have to do too many notes. But yeah, I'm thinking that uh, I'm going to try to push through this week. But uh, I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. Let's see what happens. They requested meatballs again. So I'm getting ready to whip this up. And I'm going to do two pans this time because I only did one and they were upset because there was no leftover. So we're going to be doing two pans of this and I'm going to be making me some deviled eggs and um, they're going to have rice and I'm going to have broccoli and cheese sauce again, which was another request. I made it for my mom and I, but my husband was like, babe, could you please make us some broccoli and cheddar? Um, you know, broccoli and cheese sauce. So that's what I'm making for dinner. But like I said, I'm going to have this. And I, you know what? I'm doing the old mad so I can eat rice too. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I just wanted some double eggs. We'll see. Just been craving eggs. And I don't even like eggs like that. But I'm craving them. <laughs> Bye. In the oven at 375. So while we was out of mayo and I didn't know it. Oh my God. These Pepperidge Farm crackers with some of this stuff. Oh my gosh. It's life abundantly. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I decided to eat some crackers with pepperoni and cheese. I'm still within my eating window. It is 6 o'clock. Um, and I try to eat from 6 to 8, eat as many calories as I can. That's how old Matt works. So, it's like, this is the best time of my life when this time comes. But, yeah, so I got my shrimp because I'm making barbecue spicy shrimp. Um, I've been wanting spicy everything. Um, uh double eggs i'm about to eat this right now and i'm waiting for my uh meatballs to get done so i can create my gravy i'm gonna make a big pot this time and i got some rice going then i'll be starting the broccoli with the cheese sauce eating three of them so she's gonna be eating three of them <laughs> these crackers are so good it came with like a trio of three different kind of crackers and i actually like these i didn't think i would buy pepper from Save my appetite because Miss Rizzy want these last two, but I did eat a couple. Here you go, baby girl. Mm hmm. Because I only have eight um, deviled eggs, and my cheese sauce is butter to pour over my broccoli. Oh, sorry, y'all. Hold on. And my rice is nice and fluffy and done. And my meatballs is in the gravy doing their thing. So let me season these sauteed real quick to put on my um double eggs. This is a quick picture of my meal and it was really tasty. Hey guys, so this is the end of my day. I'm getting ready to go to sleep. I'm getting ready to go to sleep. Um, we decided that we're going to try out midnight. Because we have a struggle sleeping, and even though I push myself and get up, I literally struggle kind of sleeping throughout the night because I feel like I'm not going to hear my alarm, and then I don't, um, and I don't get a good sleep. So what we decided is we're going to, um, we're going to, go at midnight so she'll be here about 11 50 outside for me so we can hit the gym that way it'll we could come back take our showers it'll be like late 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 night the time that we be up tossing and turning anyways and just get in the bed or either watch tv or whatever we do to make us fall asleep and then get up in the morning like normal so i think that's what we're gonna do um food was awesome i ate basically everything except for like maybe a teaspoon of rice like i literally ate everything my eggs my broccoli my beef um my meatballs with gravy um and i drunk a ginger ale so basically i'm just gonna be um chugging on water 
until I fall asleep. I'm going to try to get a quick nap because it's only like 8.30. I'm going to try to get a quick nap before she picks me up and just try to see how that schedule works. Because I'm like, Mom, we kind of struggle with the middle of the night. It's like we get up, then we get home. But if we don't go to bed right away, the daylight comes up. And then it just it just makes you feel some type of way. I'm like, since we're night owls, let's just go and get it done late, like early morning between 12 and 1 even earlier which is only like three more hours than the time that we normally go well for if we go at one it'll be three if it's 12 it'll be i mean if we go at one it'll be three if it's 12 it'll be four so yeah we're gonna try that and you shall see tomorrow how it works for us so all right y'all love you guys thank you guys for all the encouragement thank you guys for pushing me thank you guys for the just everything i'm so excited about this journey i'm excited about learning what's gonna be best for me i know that i lost weight before i trained people i did all of that but as you get older your body changes and some things you know you just need to readjust according to that so that's what i'm trying to do and i just thank you guys for being patient with me and understanding this is my journey i have to figure out what's best for me i don't mind suggestions i don't mind it and i will nicely you know ask questions if i'm um curious about something that you may have mentioned but please understand y'all this is my journey and i'm trying to do the best i can it's kind of a pressure sometimes and i understand this is youtube where um people might say do this do this do this you know kind of let me feel my way through what i'm doing unless you know it's something that's detrimental and i may not know it or know that it can affect me um just understand that i'm not trying to be rude or anything i'm trying to figure this out you know because i know my body i know how i feel i know what i can take or what i can't take and so i'm trying to listen to my body during this journey to make it through to the next day and the next day and the next day until i hit that 85th day of this challenge that i'm doing to try to see how i can get over the hump and and transition my life into a better way of um living as far as eating and all that good stuff um the old man like i said is something where you fast basically for 24 hours some people fast for 20 not yeah 22 hours i mean and then you eat within the two hour window whatever it is you want and i try to eat between six and eight then um some people do 23 and fat and and eat what they can within an hour it's up to you um some people don't uh really drink or do anything but water but some people um drink coffee drink tea and i've heard people that eat like maybe a fruit or something you know something real small so everybody kind of does it their own way and there's results good results with everything intermittent fasting keto i mean there's good results with everything but the reason why it's good results because the person may have tried things but they have to find what works best for them and then they went forward with that and achieved the results because it made them feel good it made them feel it was something they could do without making them feel like it was um you know too stressful or a big struggle for them and that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to seek out um things that are going to make me feel like i'm not make me feel like i'm not um really restricting myself so much the old mad i think it's like a mind over matter thing i do feel like it's a struggle i do feel like at times i want to say ah i can't do this but then after i kind of just drink water and maybe eat a cutie and try to do something else i kind of get over that they say like after day four it gets better but we shall see i don't want to give up on it um and i'm trying to push through it to do the seven days which is a full week of it and see how that works for me but like i said this is a journey and you guys will see all of that i was kind of slack on my water today the water that's in that cup is the same water from this morning and it's the water that i transformed transition uh, transferred from my um gym cup to that cup because this cup keeps my water cold so i was kind of slacking on water today i tried to get at least two of those in and i didn't today so that was a sucky thing um yeah i'm just trying to get better at the water intake as well so i hope you guys are so 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 enjoying your day and you enjoy your day tomorrow as well and you shall see me tomorrow again in the morning at 6 a.m with a new video so um thumbs up this video please share this journey with someone else that you know that this can be inspiring to and can help someone else to um just keep pushing because they're not alone and there are other people that are out here pushing trying to get this weight off and become healthy as well all right i will talk to you guys later gators